Hi there viewers. Today we're going to learn how to drive a stick shift. Five speed. Once you've gotten in position, enter your car. The car is in neutral. Mm -hmm. We're about to crank the car on. Mm -hmm. We're going to apply your left foot to our gasher. Press down, cranking up, again in neutral. Mm -hmm. Now we're ready for takeoff. Alright. Okay. Now, first gear. You will begin to feel the gradual move of the car. Your gauges, along with the foot pressure, will allow you to go to your next gear. That's gear two. Continue with the pressure. You would then know when your next shift shall begin. You see that? The gauge you go. You feel the pressure. We are in third gear. It doesn't really take long before each gear is ready for the next. We are now in fourth. I've gone along with your gauge, feeling the pressure. Pressure down. We are now fifth gear. And you basically just about can ride on fifth gear throughout your speed limit. 45 on up. We don't have to worry about switching gear. Your main focus shall remain on your gauge to the speed limit. Now instead of going down 4, 3, 2, 1 very fast, I'm going to take you very slow. I'm going to go down because now we're coming to a stop. That's your fourth. That's your third. And your memory of time has reached you 20, 15 miles per hour, you will remain in your third gear. The faster you go, the more time is spent. Upper, third, fourth, fifth gear. The slower you go, the less amount of time you will need on your second and first gear. Right about now, I'm going to teach you how to do the neutral. You don't have to put it in a gear because you have completely stopped or you're slowing down. And you can tell that you're coming to a stop. We're in neutral. That only takes place once you are going to stop. Now you can go on to first and keep it at a minimum. But you want to level out your driving foot and your left gear foot, level it out so that you can control that momentum at your neutral to your first. Processing yourself over, feeling, feeling, feeling with your feet, feeling with the movement, allowing yourself to shift gears after each momentum. Again, there is our neutral because we see there is a car in front of us. Now, what we did just then was turned off. And what you want to do then is jump it back into neutral and cut our back on mm -hmm. in the middle. What is it, sugar? What is it? There you go. And jump yourself right on back in. And one thing about it, if you run out of gas, only the stick shifts will provide you with a jump start. Meaning you can actually jump it with the clutch and keep on rolling to your nearest gas station. Alright, we're in process. And we are in first gear, second gear. 
neutralizer. Now, there you go. Say you have an emergency like I just did, and you're trying to cut back on in the middle of traffic. Don't panic. Take your time. Repeat your process of neutral, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. It's as easy as opening a can with a can opener. This is your can opener. And once you get that down packed, you're pretty much good to go. First gear, filling it with your left foot, allowing it to go back down for your clutching. Coming back up off the clutch, giving yourself a release, watching your gauges, feeling the pressure, clutch down and switch gear. And trust me, you won't be able to change gear if you're not down on your clutch. You only can change it, put your foot on your clutch. And rise real smooth. Today we've done a brief briefness of how to drive a five speed. I'm glad you all enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for tuning in.